Hey McFly subscribers, welcome to my first of my Monday uh, channel updates. On these channel updates, I plan on doing a few things. Um, this could be uh, just kind of some info uh, about what I, you know, some trips that I've had or what I plan on doing. Um, also, uh, it could be some gear reviews, which uh, I've got today. It's kind of an unboxing that I've got today. I've got a few things on Amazon um, that I'm actually really excited to tell you guys about. But these uh, will be Mondays. Um, like always, I've got my fly fishing on Thursdays. Uh, and on Fridays, I'll, I, I still will be doing my fly tying videos. So I'm just adding another set of videos for the week. This will be a total of three videos every week that I will try to produce. And every single Monday, I'm going to try to do a, a, a video update, a, uh, a channel update for you guys. And every Thursday, try to do a fishing video, and every Friday try to do a fly tying video. So, that's that's what I've got going today. All these products here, I will, like always, put a link down in the bottom of uh, my videos as uh, where you can get these. If I buy something and it's not quality, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm gonna either tell you guys it's not quality, or I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna show you guys it. I, I don't think I want to show you guys anything that's bad quality and say go buy it. I, I don't I don't want to do that. I want you guys to get good quality products but you know at a good discount at, at, at something that's reasonably priced. Let's go ahead and take a look at what I got here. So first thing I got, I got a few things because I you know I get sunburned. Uh, when I'm out on the river I, uh, I burn a lot and my wife was giving me a hard time about it. Um, she's like man you're gonna get skin cancer soon and you know I hate putting on sunscreen the problem with sunscreen I'll tell you right now is that the sunscreen can actually deteriorate your fly line um, there's something in it that actually is it's is bad for the line plus the smell of it um, yeah, I don't like but it's greasy plus the smell can you know the, the fish might not be as attracted to your lures I mean they're big on scents so uh, I just I, I don't like using sunscreen but I burn to a crisp I've got light skin and and I burn. So, um, I got a few things that's going to hopefully help protect me. I usually wear a long sleeve shirt when I'm out on the river. One of those light shirts in the summer where it's, uh, you know, breathable. Um, or in the winter, um, you know, I've always um, bundled up, you know. Uh, so, but usually my hands and my face and neck are showing. So, first thing I got were these uh, gloves. But there we go. I've got these gloves. They've got... Um, the fingers are, are showing, so I can still do the things. I can tie my flies, or uh, tie tie the flies on. Um, I'll be able to feel the line. It's still sensitive, um, but I think if I if I strip, I usually try to strip with my uh, my other finger. So I've got the rod held like this, and then I have my finger out, my uh, pinky, and I strip the line with that. So that I think will actually add as like a strip uh, guide strip. And the nice thing is these gloves were only uh, I think ten bucks, maybe. No, I think these ones were 13 bucks. I want to say 13, 14 bucks. But they're, you know, 50 UPF. So that means I'm not going to get burnt. Maybe the tips of my fingers and that's it. But um, I should not be getting burnt. I always end up getting burnt right here. This is where I get burnt. So that should be, because uh, I'm holding the rod like this. And that's all shown right there. So that's all covered, uh, which is nice. Some of these brands that sell these are really expensive. And, uh, you know, $13, these were the best quality that I saw, um, without the fingers, uh, for, for the price. So I'll put a link if you want to get those. I also got a neck gaiter. So this will actually help with my, uh, my neck and face. And this is kind of a cool pattern. I kind of like it. It's, it's rather neat. The nice thing also is I think these, this will keep you cool too, or keep me cool. If I wet it, so I stick this in the water and then stick it over, if it's hot, um, it should actually help keep me cool. But it's also going to keep the sun off me. So basically, you just kind of stick it on and um, you got it around your neck like this. And you know, if it starts getting sunny or you want the protection, 
I'm kind of first time I put it on. Bring this up over, and now I've got full protection. You can see it's protecting my ears. Um, it's going to just keep me right out of the sun. Now I'm sure I could probably. There you go. Look at that. There we go. So that's uh, pretty neat. That'll keep my ears uh, nice and protected. My nose nice and protected. And uh, I don't really know what this looks like, but it should really help kind of... And all this usually is covered because I always wear my hat. So if I've got my hat, you can see there's just no way I'm going to get burnt now. Of course, I look like I'm robbing a bank. Uh, but I got this idea from uh, uh, Carter. When I went fishing, he had one of these, and he doesn't get burnt, you know? He's also got really light skin like me, and and uh, he doesn't want to get burnt. So there we go, I've got that. And the big item today, and th this, by the way, was 10 bucks, so that's not bad. I think I've seen a lot of these for like 20 25 at places, which is crazy for just a kind of scarf, I think, you know? Um, but this, for 10 bucks, not bad. It's pretty cool. They had like four different uh, color schemes, so four or five all kind of, you know, that cool print looking stuff. So there we go, I've got that. And then the big item. So this I got, I wanted basically a backpack slash vest. And the reason why is I carry a lot of stuff with me. So when I go out on the river, I've got my camera gear, um, you know, I've got everything and I'm trying to stuff it in either my waders or whatnot and it's always, the front of me here is like always, you know, stuffed out with all the stuff that I carry. And it's a big pain in the butt. I, uh, I ordered this and this was really inexpensive. It's like 70 bucks. And I've seen some of these from other brands and, well, they're probably a little better quality. Uh, they're like 200 bucks for any of, any of the vests that have a backpack. Um, if you get them from like Sims or um, any of the other, you know, bigger brands. That make this stuff, um, they're they're expensive. They're like 200 bucks, and this was 70. It was 69.95 or something like that. Um, and again, all these I'll put a link down at the bottom for you guys if you want to check them out. Okay, so the zippers, they're you know they're they're plastic, um, and I wouldn't necessarily say that this is the highest quality vest I've ever seen, but for 70 dollars, um, you know it's it's very nice. Uh, so it does have lots of pockets. It's got this. Uh, cool little section here so I can probably take these off of my zinger and there we go so the they stick right in like that which is nice um, the only thing is I guess you would risk dropping them because they're not connected but uh, they stick in just like that so they're not swinging around um, of course they do have little clips for putting the zingers on the zip tie, there, the zip, uh, whatever they are, for different things. Um, I've got two of them, one on each side here, so I can always throw my uh, tippet spools like that. These pretty large pockets right here that actually a full size. So this is my streamer box. Okay, is I don't have a lot right now. I need to kind of tie up some, but. Those stick right in and they fit just perfect. Look at that. They fit right in there. So that's nice. Um, nice sized, large um, compartments. Uh, and those compartments also have multiple spaces in them. So, you know, pretty nice. Um, and then it's also got this front compartment where I can. You know, this when you're when you're sitting there, it's gonna hang open just like that. So it's got room to work with. Um, while you're sitting there, you can just kind of grab, put your flies on while you're tying them and whatnot. It's got a nice foam insert, but that's Velcro, and I believe you can buy more of these online. So if those ever get messed up, you know, holes in them, you can always just buy more, stick them back in. So it's on Velcro. Um, so there's that. This is identical on this side. Uh, the same, so you can stick, uh, you know, it's got the same compartments and whatnot. Um, it's also got the fly, uh, 
foam here for putting your flies on and whatnot. Um, so that's, that's pretty nice. Now you can always take that out and put a box in if you wanted, um, instead of those fly foam things, but I thought that was kind of cool. The big thing is the back here. So it's got this where you can put like a water bottle here. Uh, that's probably what I do with that. Um, it's got these clamp downs. It's got a smaller outside compartment here. You'd probably stick a water bottle in there if you wanted, or you know maybe extra fly boxes, larger ones, or um, extra tools, whatever you need. And then it's got a larger compartment. Now this is where. So this had a bladder, a uh, water bladder. Now, being a, I don't know this company very well, I don't know if they're made in China or whatnot, um, I have no clue. I'm not sure I trust putting water in this. I haven't tried it yet. I might fill it up and taste it, see if it tastes real, you know, rubbery. Um, I don't know if I want to do that. So I took this out. I think I'll just stick water, a water bottle in here rather than use the water bladder. Although that's nice, you can just kind of grab and, you know, use. I might just buy a different one from another company and throw it in there. You can get them from like um, Camel Pack for 20 bucks or whatever. Um, but this is nice, large compartment here and I can stick all my camera equipment uh, right in there. And there we go. That's there's ample room. There is a lot more. Let me turn this around so you can see. Look at all that. The size of my my stuff, and it it fits with ample, plenty of room. Look, I can even throw another fly box in there. Just stick all my uh, you know stuff. There's plenty of room. Um, this is also nice. So if you guys aren't doing videoing or whatnot. Um, like I am, which I kind of need this for. Uh, but if you ever do like a, like a small backpack trip up to go, uh, you know, fish um, some remote stream, and you've got a little bit of a hike, and you want to throw like a small tarp in there or whatever for what I, I don't I don't know what you would would want to bring. But this would allow you to do that. You can throw that in the back, use this as a backpack, and then put your fly stuff in the front. Um, so that's pretty neat. So I've got all you know my camera equipment in there. And let's go ahead and try it on. Now I will say after kind of sticking this in here, I realized that'll stay, but they fall out if you kind of turn to the side. So maybe that's not going to work. Not sure for my hemostats. Might not work for my hemostats. I might need to keep the zinger. Of course, you probably put, there you go, you got the zinger right there. There we go. Throw my uh, box in there. Here, let me grab another streamer box. There we go. So I've got streamer box, boom. right in there, you know, and that's not sticking out too much, it feels good. Um, now it's got a clip here, you can kind of connect the two sides together. Okay, and of course plastic, I mean any of those are, it does seem like a little cheaper plastic. Um, now this is, that feels like a metal uh, zipper, so this is a better quality zipper, this one. Some of these are a little cheaper zippers right here. That feels like a better quality zipper, but you can actually zip this up and then it's nice and firm in there. There's also these straps here and you can really tighten that to you, to yourself like that. Um, so that's nice. It does kind of keep it that way and pull these up, pull it up higher. So it is kind of like a, you know, real backpack. Um, so let's see. So we've got, you know, I can throw some extra uh, leaders. And there's little compartments there, just like so. There's compartments here that you could also put whatever you need right on the inside, okay? So you could stick stuff right there. Um, so that's neat. There's a little compartment up here with a uh, little 
holder so you can actually stick to where I put my keys, I guess. And this is kind of waterproof, so here we go. Right? So then I can stuff my keys in there so I don't lose them. Boom, I know right where they're at. There's my keys. Not really sure what that's for, but sunglasses maybe. Um, but yeah, overall I'm pretty happy with this. I think it's nice. Um, let me see if I can find my thin fly boxes. All right, so if you got your thin fly boxes, one of these, uh, you know, smaller ones, um, I think those will fit just nice. Boom, look at that, that's perfect. Right like that, or also will fit, obviously, right in there. And fit a couple of those, like that. There you go. That's that's pretty nice. Um, I like it. It doesn't feel. I don't feel like much of the stuff weighing on my back. It kind of holds it nice. I do like it. So of course I haven't tried it out in the water. It literally just came last night. Um, our UPS guy works late, and he delivered it at like 9 p.m. or something like that. So that works kind of nice for the price. That's a pretty nice little vest. Um, so again, I'm going to put the links down at the bottom there for you guys. And uh, um, if you guys want to check this out, uh, you're welcome to it. I hope you guys enjoy these update videos. Um, and that there's something that you guys want to see. Let me know if this is something that you guys want to see. Uh, channel updates like this. Um, there might be gear reviews. Um, the updates might just be some info about what's going on in my life or info on maybe a previous trip or an upcoming trip that I took. If you like this kind of thing, uh, there's a subscribe button right down below the video. Go ahead and click that and that will give you, uh, give you a notification when I make more videos. It'll just kind of let you know on your uh, YouTube dashboard there um, when, when a new video of mine pops up. I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good day and go catch some fish.